Hola, mi amigos. It is day 48 of the Corona Chronicles, and I am joining the ranks of millennials that are making banana bread. This is actually a recipe for blueberry banana bread that a friend sent me. I will have to uh, go back to the link to figure out what mom blog it came from. I have never made bread before. I have never made banana bread, but I happen to have all of the necessary ingredients and I have this fancy KitchenAid mixer and I should be able to use it with all of these cool attachments, right? So let's go and get started and make some banana bread. You're going to need um, a half cup of butter or one stick, a cup of sugar, two eggs, a tablespoon vanilla extract, two ripe bananas, two cups all-purpose flour. I'm using gluten-free uh, flour. I just happened to have it in the pantry and it was unopened and why not? A teaspoon baking soda, a teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon salt, two and a half cups of blueberries. I don't have two and a half cups of blueberries. I just happened to have these blueberries. First thing is to preheat the oven to 350. In a stand mixer, cream together butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Ew, yuck. Um, also, the only butter I had was um, olive oil and sea salt. We're just living dangerously over here. Can't nothing stop us, Corona Chronicles. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna start with this whisk attachment. I don't know if it's the right attachment. Um, Problem number one that I see is that the butter is all inside of the attachment and not mixing with the sugar at all. Cool. So speed is your friend. I'm just gonna try and mix this together a little bit more. Um, that looks good enough to me. Next is, okay, add eggs one at a time and mix until combined. Vanilla extract. It's like not mixed at all underneath. You have to scrape the sides. Why did I even get this thing? I know why I got it. It's fancy and it doesn't hurt your arms. It's kind of got a weird consistency. I don't know. We'll see. Next is mash the bananas and add to the mixture. Good to me. In a medium bowl, combine the flour. Good enough. Cup of flour. Two cups of flour. Ugh. Baking soda. And it's a teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, okay. 
It's a teaspoon of baking powder. And the half teaspoon of salt. I'm supposed to whisk it, it just says mix, but I always feel really fancy when I use a whisk. Slowly add dried ingredients to banana mixture until just combined. Don't over mix. Now, I was thinking I would switch to this attachment. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if we're living dangerously. We're just living chaotically and, you know, YOLO. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. And I'm gonna mix. Using this new attachment. I think this attachment is good. really good. It says toss blueberries in a coating of flour and stir gently into the batter. Um, I can't tell you how much I don't feel like tossing those blueberries in flour. I don't know why you need to. Can't I just pour them in? I'm gonna try just pouring them in. Oh, here's a paddle attachment. I'm just gonna use it because I feel like it. It says gently stir into the batter. It's hard to stir one handed. Okay, there it is. Um, and now we're gonna put it in the bread the bread pan. Pour batter into prepared loaf pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray or lined with parchment paper. There it is. It is all ready to go into the oven. Okay, um, this is now ready to go into the oven. It's supposed to bake for about an hour, so I will see you in an hour for an update on Lorna's adventures baking things in the kitchen. Okay guys, it's been 50 minutes. My timer has just gone off. It smells amazing in my kitchen. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Here's the bread, all up close and personal. It's a little brown on top, but it smells amazing. We're supposed to do the, the toothpick test. Okay, here we go. Oh, it is not done. Oh, it's so brown on top. Okay, back it goes. <laughs> Corona Chronicles 2020. Uh, 10 more minutes has gone by and now let's hope for some banana bread. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. It's getting so hard on the outside. Five minutes? 
five more minutes? This has to be it, right? Five minutes, I'm done. This is it. I'm not putting it back in the oven. The final toothpick. There we go. Allowed to cool completely on a wire rack and enjoy it. Am I supposed to take it out of the bread pan to cool on the wire rack? I don't know if I could get it out of this bread pan to begin with, but I do have a wire rack. Okay, let me just try this. Um, no. Okay, here it is. I don't know why I need to let it cool. I don't have a bread knife. This is what we're doing, but. <gasps> I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done fucking with it. Well, it looks like I got here just in time. <laughs> this looks really good. I usually like butter on my delicious uh, fruit bread. Which piece do you want? You want the end piece. Well, you made it, so you have the end piece, and I'll have this other piece. I don't care. Ah! Uh-oh, okay. It's okay. It's pretty good. I'm not crazy about the way this tastes or its texture. It doesn't have the normal banana bread texture. Oh, what the, what the fuck is that about? It's probably because I used olive oil and sea salt butter sticks. Oh, also probably the gluten-free flour. <clears throat> they do taste very healthy. Ugh, that's the worst. The gluten-free blueberry banana bread. Day 48, Corona Chronicles, stay tuned next time.